Hi, I'm Annie Liang. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Economics at UPenn. And I just presented at this big data conference at CMSA. And I'll tell you a little bit about it now. So this is a joint project with Sendal Mulanathan and John Kleinberg. It's about testing theory predictiveness and evaluating it. Okay. So a canonical problem in the social sciences involves modeling the relationship between some set of measurable covariates and an outcome of interest. Now, one reason we do this is because we care about predicting the outcome given new measurements of the covariates. And the question we look at is this question of how we should assess how well a given model does in prediction. Now, this is challenging because the same objective level of predictive accuracy can mean very different things in different problems. So to be more concrete, suppose you have a model and it predicts correctly in 60% of your test instances. Okay, now is that number good? Is that bad? depends on the problem you're looking at. So for example, suppose you achieve that 60% accuracy, predicting the discretized location of a planet tomorrow based off of an extensive set of physical measurements. That's pretty poor because we actually know that you can achieve much closer to perfect prediction in this problem. And take the same level of predictive accuracy, 60%, and now suppose that you've achieved that, predicting whether the S&P 500 goes up or down tomorrow. Now suddenly that's a phenomenal model despite the same level of predictive accuracy. Okay, so what this illustrates is that predictive limits differ significantly across problems depending on what you're predicting and what feature set you have available to you. So to understand what something like 60% accuracy even means, we need to compare it not against perfect prediction, but rather against the best achievable level of prediction in your given problem. Okay, but how do we get at that? So the proposed approach in our paper is to use machine learning to construct a benchmark for evaluation of the predictive accuracies of our existing theories. And we demonstrate this approach on the problem of predicting human generation of random sequences so this is a topic with a long history in psychology and behavioral economics. And what we do is we actually obtain a large data set of human-generated sequences, and we compare the performance of existing models based in economic theory compared to these benchmarks constructed using machine learning. And we find that the existing models achieve up to about 15% of the achievable improvement in prediction error in this given problem. And okay, we moreover demonstrate that this measure is actually robust across many different instantiations of the problem. So we consider not only our own lab data, but also data generated by baseball umpires making sequential decisions about whether to call strikes, sorry, to call pitches as strikes or balls, and also rock, paper, scissors participants making sequential decisions as to whether to generate a rock, paper, uh, or scissors. And so we find that in all of these domains, the existing models are predictive, but they're not complete, and they achieve up to about 10 to 20% of the attainable improvement across these various domains. All right, thank you.